And we begin tonight with President Obama making it clear who he believes was behind the Russian hacking. He said not much happens in Russia without Vladimir Putin. And tonight, ABC News confirming the FBI now agrees with the CIA. Vladimir Putin directed it, and it began with Putin's concern over Hillary Clinton becoming president. And now we learn what happened during this moment right here, what President Obama says he told Vladimir Putin well before the election about the hacking. ABC's chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz, and her questions for the president. Tonight, President Obama revealing he confronted Vladimir Putin about the Russian hacking face to face in September, warning him not to tamper with the vote on election day. I felt that the most effective way to ensure that that didn't happen was to talk to him directly and tell him to cut it out and there were going to be some serious consequences if he didn't. The CIA and now the FBI both believe Putin himself ordered the hacking of the Democratic National Committee and of Clinton campaign chairman John Podesta. I asked the president if he agrees. Just to be clear, do you believe Vladimir Putin himself authorized the hack and do you believe he authorized that to help Donald Trump? What I can tell you is that the intelligence that I've seen gives me great confidence in their assessment that the Russians carried out this hack. Putin specifically, can you not say that? Well, Martha, I think what I want to make sure of is that um, uh, I give the intelligence community the chance to gather all the information, but I'd, I'd make a larger point, which is not much happens in Russia without Vladimir Putin. Still unconvinced Russia was behind the attack, President-elect Donald Trump. They have no idea if it's Russia or China or somebody. It could be somebody sitting in a bed someplace. Do these types of tweets and kinds of statements from Donald Trump embolden the Russians? I think that the president-elect you know, is still in transition mode from campaign to governance. Uh, he still has campaign spokespersons sort of filling in and appearing on cable shows. And the president today bristling at Republicans for not denouncing Russia during the campaign. He says it was clear which candidate Russia was trying to hurt. Some folks who had made a career out of being anti-Russian didn't say anything about it. And then after the election, suddenly they're asking, Oh, why didn't you tell us that uh, maybe the Russians were trying to help our candidate? Well, oh. come on. And now Hillary Clinton is speaking out, saying Putin targeted her because as Secretary of State, she spoke um, out against corruption in Russia's own elections. Vladimir Putin himself directed the covert cyber attacks against our electoral system, against our democracy, apparently because he has a personal beef against me. Clinton blames her loss on two, quote, unprecedented events, the hacking and the announcement by FBI Director James Comey just 11 days before the election that agents were looking over new emails connected to her private server. Swing state voters made their decisions in the final days, breaking against me because of the FBI letter from Director Comey. Today, praise from President Obama. I've said before, I couldn't be prouder of Secretary Clinton, and I don't think she was treated fairly during the election. Uh, I think the coverage of her and the issues uh, was troubling. And Martha Raddatz joins us live from the White House tonight. And Martha, President Obama promising the U.S. will retaliate against Russia? Yes, he did, David. He said it would be a thoughtful and methodical response, some of it public, some not public. He said to send a clear message to Russia or others not to do this to us because we can do stuff to you. David? Martha Raddatz leading us off on a Friday night. Martha, thank you.